Hey everybody, it's Alex from Bad Aim Incorporated and I am going to show you how to make potions with audio. I know the last time I posted it without audio or the audio was very, 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 very quiet so nobody could hear me. So now I'm going to remake this and I'm going to show you how to make four potions instead of five this time. I'm sorry but I couldn't get the last ingredient. But if you know what to do then it's not very hard to just figure it out yourself so first of all I'm making the awkward potions you see I have it made here it's it's a nether wart and water bottle the water bottle or no the nether wart is attained in the nether and it's kind of like a nether seed like how you find those you kind of find nether warts growing so now I'm gonna make I'm going to put sugar on the on the awkward potion, blaze powder on the awkward potion, glycerin melon on the awkward potion and a gas tear on the awkward potion. And let's see, it fades tonight. So just uh, a random torch placing for the win. Come at me. I dare a mob to come at me right now. Okay, so everything should be set. No, nope. 2 seconds. Now we've got the potion of swiftness, we've got the potion of strength, we've got the potion of healing, and the potion of regeneration. So now I shall demonstrate what each of these potions do with a diamond sword. Actually no, my, this is my diamond sword. Okay, so the potion of strength, seen here, gives you extra strength, it gives a, a heart and a half of extra damage per hit when drink, when drink, drank, drunk. Okay, let's, let's see if this helps. Okay, it seems to still be taking a lot, I'm not sure. I might just have a weak sword even though I have an enchanted diamond sword. But you never know. Now, Zergriz will attempt to come at me. No! What are you? Are you? No. Hard scoper. I call hard scoping. Someone's definitely hard scoping here. Noob. 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 Don't kill me. Don't kill me, noob. Yeah, sit down. Sit down, Grizz. Let's see. I still have 2 minutes and 22 seconds left. But I don't think I'll go and monster hunt anymore. I will show you the rest of the. The rest of the potions. So next one is the potion of instant health. It gives you three hearts automatically. Bam. I'm healed. Next one, I'm going to have to get hurt again. Hopefully I don't die from this fall. If I do, I'm a noob. Noob. Okay, so this potion helps you gen regenerate your, fast little, your heart a little fat, your health a little faster. Sorry for my stuttering. And if you notice, I'm already healed with the potion of regeneration. Now the skeleton wants more, so I gotta take him out, you know. Dodging bullets, dodging bullets and taking names, rushing like a pro. So now he's done. The last one is the potion of swiftness. Makes you just run a little faster. I'm not, I think you're, yeah, you're sprinting and I'm actually just walking. Like this is walking, but I'm actually sprinting. And when I'm sprinting, I'm like a champion, I'm like Usain Bolt. Sprinting around here. I see Enderman over there. So now we're going to look at him. And we have a bonus extra. Show you how to enchant items. So first of all, you need four obsidian. Placed like this. Two diamonds. And last of all, your enchantment book. So then you get an enchantment table. And you can put it down. And what you need is you need to kill mobs. As you can see right here. The two on my screen. That gives you your level of enchantment. So I'm going to enchant this diamond pickaxe. It gives you three different levels of enchantment each time. And since I'm level two, this is the highest level I can enchant to. Click on that. And it comes out. It's sitting on top. And then efficiency one. It's glowing in my hand, if you can see. And so that about sums it up. I think I'm going to finish this little clip with me going monster hunter and 
just give you a little bit of entertainment of me just completely raping some mobs. <laughs> 